This farm here started in 2016. The 30-member committee that was set up by Lira University to research on cocoa has started its work on the due diligence on cocoa farming. The team made its first visit to Trinity Mix Farm in Doklo District, one of the excelling farms in cocoa farming in northern Uganda. For the team in the university, I want to say that this will be a coordination team. We have identified the university as being one of the dissemination points because you are all not coming from one place. A kilogram of cocoa is currently selling at about 30,000 shillings. The chocolate industry consumes about 43% of all cocoa with the USA and Europe being the major importers of cocoa. I can now tell you that by December 2023 is when we now started harvesting the cocoa here. And it is big money, I must tell you. Once you plant it and it starts to, jam, it starts to produce the pods, you will just be plucking it for the next 70 to 80 years. The research team set up by Lira University is to gather necessary information for the university to aid in establishment of a cocoa farm at the university for research purpose in the region. This is the best time for the university to get involved. The element of research should be built in. The only thing is we need really that training that will enable us to set up a cocoa farm. When, when, when we start now planting cocoa, it is going to help us eradicate poverty and then it is going to bring income to the university. The farm has so far raised hundreds of seedlings which farmers have planted across the region but challenged with the technical support in raising the new crop in the region. We are encouraging the individual farmers and institutions to come and learn what we are doing, the best practices in cocoa alongside other crops. And when they come, we tell them to do two things. One, we ask them to learn about land uh, utilization and then land use management. Cocoa is a perennial crop that is harvested twice a year, earning about 13 million shillings per acre annually. Edi Olua, UBC News. And give me caramel. Give me the